Welcome back, everybody, to Coin6 News. I'm Jennifer Hoff reporting live from Madras. You are looking at the total solar eclipse that crossed over this small town in central Oregon from this morning. Did you know it was about 62 miles wide that stretched from coast to coast? Oregon was the first state where it started this morning. Madras statistically had the clearest skies than any other spot in the path of totality in the entire country. So it was quite an honor. And look, I'm getting somewhat emotional uh, being able to report live from here today and see such an amazing event. It was something and I think as soon as we start working today and put the cameras away and the microphones away we'll really be able to take in what exactly we all got to share with the uh, thousands of people who are here at the campsite in Madras called Solar Town. Unfortunately, one of the places where it wasn't as easy to see the total solar eclipse was out on the coast in Lincoln City, where our Eileen Park has been reporting for the past couple days. Tell us, Eileen, did you get to see any of it at least? Jennifer, I did get to see a little bit of it. It was a bit obstructed, but we did see it in totality. Yes, as you mentioned, what we feared actually became reality. The fog stuck around during the total solar eclipse for some parts of Lincoln County, for example. 15 minutes before totality, though, many people realized it was too foggy to stay on the coast, right by Chinook winds, and then they tried to find a better view. So did we, but everywhere we went, it was still pretty foggy. So we stayed put with these tourists from all over the country and the world. And when it became completely dark, it was spooky. It was fun all at the same time. That was amazing. <laughs> Just having it goes dark in the middle of the day is awesome. <laughs> it was totally awesome. I had seen the one in 79. And this time I got to experience it with my daughter, which was just an experience that I will never forget. Almost everyone I spoke with were not disappointed with the foggy weather slightly obstructing the view. And after the totality, there was a mad rush of people on Highway 101 trying to get back to Portland. But because it wasn't as crowded as initially expected, the traffic cleared out within a matter of an hour, which is very good news for everyone who did decide to stay on the coast to see this once-in-a-lifetime event. Dan